Good morning, GMS. I'm Lily Williams. And I'm Aubrey Waymeyer. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of November 1st, 2021. Student Council is having a winter drive for the Afghan refugees housed at Camp Atterbury. 6th grade is donating warm winter socks and 7th grade is donating mittens. And 8th grade will be donating winter hats. You can leave your donations in the box by the guidance office. Gen author Jennifer A. Nielsen is visiting GMS this Wednesday, November 3rd. She will be signing any of her books that you bring in. You are still required to wear your mask on the bus, so please remember to have a mask on before you enter your bus. If you are home due to illness, please make sure that your guardian calls 317-889-4040, extension 2, to let, them know what it, to let the school know what is going on. Yearbooks are still on sale for $35. The price will increase as the year goes on. They are on sale at yearbookforever.com. There is a link on the GMS homepage if you would like to have a yearbook. Now let's go to the interview, top trending, and the GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show Interview of the Week. I'm Lillian Hufford here with 8th grade special education instructor Mrs. Ricks. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, I just asked. <laughs> Question one. Would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Um, sure. I grew up in Franklin, Indiana and graduated from Franklin High School. And then I went to Indiana State University where I met my husband. We later got married after I started working here. And now we have a four-year-old little girl. That's awesome. Um, where do you think you'd be working if you weren't working here at GMS? Um, I'd probably do some adventure that has me working for myself, doing, I don't know, I really love organizing things. Hmm. So I'd probably start some kind of business organizing for people. If you could eat only one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? Honestly, it would probably be pizza, because you could literally turn pizza into anything. Breakfast pizza, taco pizza. Mm -hmm. What do you like to do in your free time? I really love to read. Um, I consume a lot of books. Me too. And um, I also like to do crafts, uh, take furniture, turn it into new things. Um, if I see something I want and I don't want to pay for it, I typically make it. <laughs> Do you have any pets? If so, tell us about them. I have one uh, dog. She's about seven years old. She is a husky Malamute mm -hmm. mix. So she's bigger than a husky, but mm -hmm. not quite as big as a Malamute. Um, but super adorable, black and white, blue eyes. Uh, she is my daughter's best friend. They play together mm -hmm. all the time, but her name is Luna. Aww. Thank you so much for coming on our show today, Mrs. Riggs. Have a great week. Thank you. Hello, welcome to Top Turning, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Avery Hawker Smith. And I'm Jackson. Let's get started from number three. On October 20th, 2021, staff from a British animal hospital tried to capture a venomous snake that stood away in a shipping container from India. The animal hospital found out that the venomous snake was a saw skilled viper, which is one of the most venomous snakes in the world. The animal hospital locked the snake into a box and transported it to an appropriate facility. According to Kids News, the world's biggest Triceratops skeleton, officially known as Big John, was sold for $7.6 million last Thursday to a private collector at a, a Paris auction house. The enormous skeleton, over 66 million years old, was, founded, was found in 2014 in South Dakota, U.S. The Triceratops dinosaur species is known for its three horns on its head. Big John, named after its owner of the land where it was founded, is certified by the Guinness World Records. The dinosaur died in an ancient flood plain on the island continent stretching from Alaska to Mexico, allowing the conservation of the, its skeleton in mud. According to HuffPost News, a beach visitor made an extremely rare discovery of Pacific football fish that washed up on the shore of Crystal Cove State Park in Orange County. The football fish is a type of angler fish that usually dwells deep underwater. The fish isn't extremely rare underwater, but on land it's highly unusual to see one. Unfortunately, the fish did not survive the wild ride and the California Department of Fish and Wildlife has the carcass of the 18-inch fish. That's all for Top Training. Have a great week, GMS. Welcome to GMS Sports, and I'm Jackson. On Thursday, November 4th, 2021, we have one girls basketball game against Indian Creek Middle School. It's at 5.30 p.m. and it's at Indian Creek. Thank you for enjoying GMS Sports.